Good morning. From the Space Coast. From the Space Coast, live from Melbourne. This is where I live. Hello. Uh, and here, uh, we are ready to go for the rock and roll ribs. We have a cooler filled with the finest of fuzzy bubbly. I have lots of dolls to deliver today, so Good. some fuzz. <laughs> We're headed down to watch Nico and Titanium Tarp, Paolo and the boys. And Jetter and... Eat some barbecue. Eat some yeah. barbecue and School of Rock will be there and I'll be there, you'll be there. So You guys right. played a show last night at a church. <laughs> it was one of the best shows, honestly, I think we've ever played. <laughs> it was honestly like phenomenal. So, that crowd was insane. Cut to some clips. Aces high. <laughs> Let the show begin and who knows when, but soon enough. And that, my friends, is how you do a metal concert. They still have like the thing in this. Obviously, I know there's seven sun in between. It's really great. They sing super clean on seven sun. Super clean. 30 minutes out, and the boys just have to watch World Cup. What is it? US versus Netherlands. We have arrived at Rock and Roll Ribs. There's already a lot of people here. Just know if you're coming in the future to this event, if you come early, you will get a parking spot in this like shopping plaza uh, but the spots do run out pretty quick so we try to get here a little bit before uh, Rock and Roll Ribs opens and they open at 11 a.m. Obviously not open yet we just come early so we can get a seat right away. All our friends are here. Logan, Chris, uh, you remember Chris from the tour? <laughs> so they're just over here setting up. Uh, they got like tons of beer as they always do. We'll have to try to show you like the stacks of stacks inside, but yeah, we're just waiting for a table now. Here's the famous facade you can see from the road. The crazy thing about this is that every year we've come, we've come every, every year that it's happened since 2013, and Nico always shows up and like sets the drum set up himself, and uh, it's pretty impressive. This. This thing has grown so much over the years to where it's almost like a little festival. For those of you that don't get here early enough to see the setup, there's the Trooper beer they have ready to go. They posted that everything sold outside is cash. And what's really cool is they have Legacy of the Beast drum set from the tour. Also, as of about five years ago, they've rented out this massive tent ever since the there was a year where it just downpoured and thunderstormed all day long so they got this tent set up and they've had it every year since and it's been a real lifesaver as far as uh, the sun and, and weather and everything so because it used to be like if you look at videos from 10 years ago Nico would play right here and there would just be a little stand above it and uh, you know you'd have a couple hundred people show up but it's gotten this big now. In fact, it's probably outgrowing this at this point. We've got Sinjutsu City and the set that they just used on tour, the Sinjutsu drum set, so that's absolutely awesome. So Bruce, right? <laughs> He kept coming back, but he's sta he standing in front of the San Jitsu suit, right? He looked at me and he goes, Look at what you're doing over here. And he goes, Whatever. And he goes out on, and the children goes, Look, the next gig, you know what he did in the suit? And he broke his helmet. Are you always going to keep it? Yeah, I was just saying, he's, like, he's missing like this. Yes, no, that's just Bruce's fault. Really? Yeah, he's kicking his ass, busting his ass. I was gonna say, like, that's crazy. Yeah, it's, it's felt, so it's felt and then fabric paint over the top of it. But yeah, I brought that for somebody. He had a family emergency, so he's not getting it today, but I just we'll we'll try to show you how to do it. That's brilliant. Nice. Nice, too, beat the stick. So, since Nico was uh, talking to us, we decided to show him Steph's doll. That's what he was looking at is uh, her newest Senjutsu doll. Very impressive. 
FTTB, first to the barbecue. Can you see We are the first party in, so I'm betting we're gonna get our favorite table. Our favorite corner. They seem to have updated their menu to a smaller cut. Oh, the lunch special. Okay, yeah, I should look I think I'm going to go for the classic half rack. What are you thinking? Uh, I'm going to do wings. Do they have a special Iron Maiden themed name? Boomer Tad Wings. Boom. If you ever get a chance to look on the walls, there's tons of memorabilia all over the place. Okay. All Maiden related. It's kind of a pilgrimage for a big Maiden fan at this point. So taking a look at the resized menu here, there's tons of Maiden references like the wing sauce you got that with your boots on or Heaven Can Wait, Final Frontier Dog, the Moonchild Mahi Sandwich, I did get the baby back ribs lunch special. They are extremely good here. What am I looking for here? Boomer tat wings. All right, it's time to try these ribs. I can see why they're world famous. So this is the Fear of the Dark Chocolate Maximus Supremus, as is stated on the menu. We have never been here without ordering this. Yeah, it's just a good piece of chocolate cake is all. <laughs> yeah. Do you know how I did it? Good. So, so then we had, the, we had the cathedral, and then we came into um, the end of the show, which was Aces, we began with Aces High. Or did we not? No, hang on. Trooper! We ended it with Aces High, didn't we? Two encores. First time in Iron Maiden's history, well, since I was with them, it's been... <clears throat> oh, 40 years. Yeah, my 40th year was this year. Funny enough, people say, no it weren't, it's next year. You joined in 1983. Wrong. Wrong. How wrong can one be? I joined Iron Maiden in July of 920, sorry. <laughs> 1982, God blimey, it's it. I'll blame it on COVID. <laughs> Are you ready yet? I'm running out of things to say. Selling merch and they've got the Tampa shirt back there that has uh, the date of the party on the sleeve. So that's something cool and different. And then they have the old Medium. tour shirts. A really cool backdrop. Hey, Rob. <laughs> because my manager said, no, you can't have the date of the gig on the back. You can have the shirt, and you can put the date of today on the sleeve, which is what we've done. So these shirts, if you can see Rob's, uh, he's not modeling it, he's just holding it up. Yeah, thank you Rob, lovely. And that's got the date today. We've got 100 of those. Right, and I thank you also for all of you guys and girls that have bought us a gift for the King Weeks. Gentlemen, the man with the guitar named Rob. 
So we're here at the local Dunkin' Donuts in uh, Coral Springs, just down the block from Rock and Roll Ribs. And I'm here with Paolo, who is the singer for Titanium Part and a band called Made of Metal, who is from down this way. That's right. So, Paolo, what year did you start performing at Rock and Roll Ribs anniversary parties? Like, what was your first time? Uh, what's up, guys? Um, the first time might have been uh, 2016. Okay. That was when Made of Metal was invited to play okay. at Rock and Roll Ribs. We, uh, we, they, they just had a slot for us for uh, Made of Metal. And uh, yeah, for the first time ever. That was also my first time at a Rock and Roll Rips event. And it was a fun one. Yeah, yeah. back then uh, there was no stage. It was just, you know, <laughs> I remember. the floor. I remember. And yeah. And uh, yeah, we just had to, you know, wonder how we're going to, you know, perform mm -hmm. there. But What was your first year performing with Nico? Because I know My you're saying first, that they're bad. Yeah, after that, after that, uh, this was 2016. Mm -hmm. And uh, 2017, Nico was called to do like a benefit show somewhere up in West Palm. Mm -hmm. And uh, he, you know, he wanted to perform some, uh, uh, you know, made in classics, you know, to, you know, gather up some, you know, for, for, for the event. Mm -hmm. And uh, they didn't have a singer at the time because uh, at the time the Mike Brainiacs weren't yeah. here anymore. So... And uh, well, through the connections with Jim, uh, made of metal's drummer, my mm -hmm. drummer, he um, called me up and said, "Look, Nick, uh, Nico needs somebody. He heard you from the Rock and Roll Rips because we perform uh, Infinite Dreams. Yeah. We did our Infinite Dreams, and uh, well, he saw it, and yeah, he liked it. And you know, we spoke briefly, but uh, well, long story short, he fin I finally got the call. I went to a rehearsal in 2017, mm -hmm. and the first song that I had to try was actually um, Run to the Hills. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, well, he liked, you know, what happened there. And ever since, you know, we performed that day, that day was, uh, you know, a really cool night. And since then, it's been really cool. You know, we've had uh, made of metal shows here uh, besides our regular shows. Yeah. yeah so... Yeah, it's been uh, really good, and now he um, he decided to continue on with his, mm -hmm. you know, maiden uh, uh, maiden band yeah. outside of maiden. <laughs> so uh, yeah, he came in and I decided to be like, I, I was thankful that he yeah. uh, chose me. And so you've cool. played every year since 2016, then I assume. Pretty much, yes. Awesome. So you're also in a band called Made of Metal, where you cover great bands such as Judas Priest, the Scorpions, and. Plenty of other great stuff. So, what singer do you enjoy performing as the most? Well, uh, I gotta say, uh, due to Maiden, I have been enjoying uh, Bruce Dickinson mm -hmm. a lot lately. But the one that I really go like really full on is like I just get like a vibe, mm -hmm. no matter what. It has to be Judas Priest. Yeah, it has I, to be Rob Halford. I thought so. Yeah, you, Rob you, Halford you guys dress up and everything for those shows yeah, too. You know, I love yeah. that. And you go full Rob Halford. You got the gloves, the leather, the hats. Like, oh, oh, yes, I love it. yes, yes, yes. <laughs> it's definitely it has to do it all the way when it comes to Judas Priest. So you and I have talked a lot about Maiden, and I know you're as big of a fan as the rest of us are. So what's your favorite part about being in a band with Nico? And do you have a, per a personal favorite Maiden song to perform? What can I tell you? You know, you're a metal fan. We grew up listening to this genre, and we love it so much. And then out of the blue, after everything you've done for metal, suddenly metal gives you something right back at yeah. And it gives you that vibe, and it's the most amazing thing ever to have you know, a legend mm -hmm. like Nico, it's just ask it's, it's you absolute, to join his they band. Ask me, yeah, it's an absolute honor. I have performed with, you know, several artists before in the past, people that are, you know, also legends. But when Nico actually said that and to be able to perform, it's it's it was just surreal the very yeah. first time. I'll tell you the truth. It was surreal. You know, it's one thing is like, you know, you're doing your you're doing your set, you're doing your gig. And then you turn around and it's, you know, your drummer, you know, in this case it's Jim, and you're like, you know, high-fiving or just doing the thumbs up. But when I'm singing Maiden with Titanium Tart and I just literally just turn back and it's Nico playing drums. There's a piece of Maiden back there. It's a, it's a yeah. you know, the real deal. 
it's still surreal and yeah. it's amazing it's an amazing feel yeah. and your yeah. favorite song to perform my favorite song i mean i got a lot but uh it's gonna have to be infinite dreams yeah infinite dreams is a, a personal favorite because uh i think uh uh as for bruce I think that's when he was at his peak regarding uh, yeah. creating the melody for it, you know, because he was, he's so talented at it. But on that specific song, something went to him. And it's like, you know, an absolute just melodic beast yeah. that came to him. And it's like a combination of that and aggressiveness, too. Uh, I don't know. It's a combination yeah. of everything that I really enjoy in, yeah. in a performer. I love being able to see you guys play songs that Maiden doesn't like play that often like oh, I mean, yeah. it's been yeah, yeah. since the 80s they've done infinite <coughs> dreams and it's just so cool to get to see at least a piece of them do it and you I guys know, do them you do it such justice so it's well, very thanks. cool to be able to especially see it in such a small small intimate venue or in parties and stuff oh, like I know. that so. yeah yeah that's also really cool to for him specifically to be able to do this you know yeah i'm glad that he gets to jam when when you're in a rehearsal studio with him it just feels like you know another day in the office it's, yeah. it, it feels great it feels like you know, it's 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 completely like so normal. At the same time, too, it's like, well, I mean, he's one of us. He's a musician. He's uh, he's he's here to work, yeah. and uh, it just feels great. It feels like you know, like when you're talking or working with any other musician. Yeah, and it feels good. It feels, that's how humble he can be. Yeah. Yeah, so, and I know it's like it's the same deal with Steve. Like Steve has British Lion, and he just exactly. loves playing those small venues and just having exactly. that little bit of the past back. So it's it's, right. it's cool opportunity for us fans too, obviously. So Absolutely. I only got one more question for you. Oh. So this year you're only doing one set with Titanium Tart. In previous years you performed with both Nico and Made of Metal. What steps do you take to prepare yourself for uh, two sets with demanding vocals? Well, uh, yeah, it's definitely not easy, <laughs> but um. Well, once again, like I was telling you, when when you've been doing this for so long, you get that sense of your like responsibility, and you feel, you know what, I gotta take it easy on everything. I gotta yeah. you know go easy on the talking. Yeah, I remember stuff. last uh, last yeah. year, you're like, I'm gonna yeah, 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 I had to calm down. So yeah, 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 I know. As stressful as it can be, you know, it's it's really fun at the same time. What can I say? Uh, just to have a serenity serenity in you, and mm -hmm. uh, just. Yeah, and I have to keep an up, keep a vibe, or just just being quiet yeah. and making sure you remember your lyrics, and that's it. And just preserving the voice, I guess. <laughs> Preservation of the voice, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yes. thank you so much for taking a moment oh, to course. chat with Captain Harris and the gang. Oh, absolutely. So, uh, it's really great to see you again. And <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you on stage tonight. All right, see you guys. Angels are warm. <laughs> Holy moly! Can this man sing? Can these guys jam? Holy! I'm not going to swear. I've got a long arm of the law over there. I could get into trouble. It's angels of war. Right. God bless you. Thank you for coming again. Second year they play for us. And look at this beautiful guitar. And you know it works because he jammed like you wouldn't believe with this. You know, Nay and... Um, and the band Angels of War have donated this guitar to this wonderful, worthy cause this evening. Yeah, come on up here, mate. Uh, I think we advertise this uh, on our website and on some social media uh, platforms. I'm going to start the bidding on this for a thousand dollars. Okay, so I'm going to go up in 200 increments. So it's twelve hundred dollars. Okay, twelve hundred there, fourteen hundred, sixteen hundred. I, uh, 1800. <laughs> you can tell I failed mathematics at school, can't I? 1800 back there. Two grand. 22. The Avenue. Uh, that's the place you want to be. Uh. 2200. 2400. 26 anywhere. Can I see $2,600? You were 24. You're going to go 28. Three grand. This is a seriously beautiful guitar. And not only that, uh, what's the brand on that? Is it an Ibanez? An ESP, which is a fantastic guitar. Anyway. You've heard the play. So where do we get to? Three grand. Right, 3,200. No, it's a bit pricey. Three grand once. Three grand going twice. And it's yours for three grand, mate. God bless you. Thank you. Oh, mate. Come on up here. Come on and take a bow. Bring your family with you. Bring your family with you. 
Come on up here, you two. Come on. Oh, and she's got a lovely Iron Maiden shirt on. A pair of them, look at that. Hey. Well, my mate Mickey Duran can't be here today, but this is the new poster he, he, he drew out. Look at that. Hey. So here you go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be signing these as normal, 20 bucks a pop. We give him five dollars for each one and then the rest goes to the charity.
22. That's the place we want to be. I have no one notice for this one. I'm really gonna, I'll tell you what, let's do five on with Karina and we take a pick. You bad news? Bad news. The US and South America will not be until 2024. Got women on still be here to drive the band. And uh, so we're planning on doing Europe and England, the tour of Britain. We haven't done a real big tour of England for a few tours. So uh, we're gonna go and start off, I think, in uh Slovenia. Yeah? Slovenia. Slovenia. Transylvania. Albania. Slovenia. Albania. What the freak's that? Oh gosh, I have no idea. Oh, Steph is a post. Where are we starting? Slovenia. Oh, Slovenia! 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 So we're starting off in Slovenia and then we're going across Europe. We're ending up at the, um, what's that, at that big festival. Uh, Wacken! Yes! Thank you.
that's not enough, I'll take it. Okay. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna get a couple more. And of course, all the classics. Starting with this one right here. There's a rub here to in front of us. I guess I should give you a clue.
to Paolo Vesquez for our fantastic vocals this evening. Oh, I, missed him, I missed him out because I was talking about the bloke with a freaking dodgy haircut and uh, put it back the way it was, mate. Thank you so very much for coming out and giving us your Saturday afternoon and evening. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Mitch and I, well, Ivy and my wife, Rebecca, Ivy is, is Mitch's wife. We all appreciate you coming to even our wonderful establishment. I think it's the best ribs ever. A couple of Memphis smokehouses might disagree with that, but I don't care. There's a track that, that uh, Harry wrote about which it was way back. <laughs>
Chase, yeah, Chase, yeah. Todo lo que yo estoy haciendo, ¿ok? Nick, I think you're supposed to sit on his lap. That's a wrap on the 13th anniversary. Nick always doing meet and greets and signing stuff for people this year. He didn't last year. There's the line for it. He's meeting them at the merch table. Well gang, it's the end of a great night at Rock and Roll Ribs. We've ended the night. We were gonna meet Nico, but the line was just mobbed and we didn't want to be here for two hours. But anyways, a great night. Missed a couple bands, so. Um, Metalicious? Metalicious? Metalicious. Metal Delicious. Uh, they were a lot of fun. Very interesting I had a lot of fun with them. I don't know where you find anything that looks quite like that, but they were fun. Um, yeah, so we saw Kinlan and School of Rock. And, School of Rock was awesome. Yeah, I, I, I heard a little bit of the Black Sabbath. Children of the Grave. Yeah. And then uh, Angel, and Angels of I can't remember. Uh, war. Angels of War. Yeah, so. he had a great voice. Yeah, so. Very excellent day. Just thanks to Nico, Rebecca, everybody. Tim Ripper Owens. Tim, Tim Ripper, Ripper Owens. Owens, everybody in the Carmine, band who put this on. I mean, Nico was here since like, I think he said 10, 9, 10 a.m. Yeah, and he's going to be here signing autographs and you know just tearing things down till the end of the night. So it's just, it's so impressive to me that at his age, he's just like still, still got his like putting in an entire yeah. day shift and he'll be here, like you said, till the still of the night. Still of the night, still, still of the, the night. Still of the night. Oh no, it's a vlog. Okay. <laughs> a few moments later. And that's it for tonight. Yes. That's a good night from tonight. It's a good night from 2022. From Captain Harris. From and Captain you. Harris, me, James. The studios are closed for the night. We are done. We are driving home. Driving right home. Now. That is it. Right now. Cut. We'll see you Cut next year. In Slovenia. In Transylvania. Bye bye now. Ta -ta -ta. Captain Harris game. <laughs> Always look on the bright side of life, life.